What is that? Where'd her skin go? Oh my god! Hello, I'm the meat pie. All right, I promised maids with balloons before uh, the we're break. We're doing it. We got to start with maids oh, with balloons. Damn it. Let, let me just let me just write this in real quick. I thank people for hosting us. I'm like, thank you so much. There we go. And I'm just pushing Alex and, around. And, and how do we how do we reward them with fucking maids, maids with, with balloons. balloons? It's the next hit game. Red, white, and blue. The funniest things we do. America, America. This is you. <laughs> Maze with balloons. Uh, Turn this up, Alex. Absolutely. Do I? No. Yay, we're almost done. What do you guys want to do tonight? We could go to my house and watch cartoons. We watch cartoons at your house every night. Well, why don't we go to the beach? Oh, we can't go to the beach. There's birds there and they'll poop on us. Oh, no. Mm. I think I have an idea. An idea? Yeah. This is my favorite part. Look at this. Okay, so Kelly. Okay, unhitch the camera, balloons, zoom in. We find balloons and then let them go at the first... This is a real game, let me remind you. We can hit the seagulls and they won't poop on us. We'll scare them away with the balloons. Hmm. That's a really good idea. And I think I saw balloons on the roof of the circus. So you can get those. Woohoo! And on the freeway, can you get those? Yeah! Let's do it then. I will meet you girls at the beach and you'll bring the balloons. Yeah! Woo! Yay! Alright, we gotta steal balloons from the circus and the freeway so we can go to the beach and not get pooped on by the birds. Makes sense. This is maids with balloons. Got one! Got one! So another, Maids with balloons. Another subgenre of Xbox Live indie games that I'm very fond of is the full motion video sequences that were obviously just filmed in a hotel room. There's a few of those. There's this. There's an especially creepy one called Are You Smarter Than a Cheerleader? Oh god, that one. I don't like that one. That game, the lighting is just really bad. It makes it look like those poor girls are going to get murdered. Jesus. <laughs> it really does. It is kind of unsettling. It's it's not a fun. It it's a game. I remember I actually I recommend remember this that one. one. This one's just funny. This one's just stupid. So let's get pooped on. Come on out, Kelly. You've been in there for over an hour. You okay? I'm not coming out. I'm covered in bird poop. Oh. She can't come out. She's covered in bird poop. Everybody. Let's see who did this. So uh -huh, we got Callie, Callie Logan is Callie. So as I suspected, they just kind of hired local models to participate in this game. This kind of thing might make you think, hey, is this just an excuse for some creepy guy to get some uh, models to dress up as maids in a hotel room? And here's your answer. Yes! Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Good job, Jason. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> Jason, you're... You are who you are, I guess. You are who you are. You got what you wanted. You Ugh. made maids with balloons. Maids with fucking balloons, huh? Maids with balloons. All right, so... Okay, so let's... <laughs> the second half of our stream, I think, is going to take a little bit more uh, free-flowing thing. I'm going to just kind of summarize what's happened with some of these developers. Give you a uh, where-are-they-now sort of thing. Okay, so who's first? Ah, uh, Halloween Pie is, is good. Next up, let's play <laughs> Adventures of Captain Becky. <laughs> should also mention Astro Man. That's another excellent game available on Xbox Live Indie Games. From developer Star Quail Games, it's kind of like this level-based Metroid sort of thing. It's, it's real good. Got a, got a <laughs> nice soundtrack. So formerly an Xplig developer, Star Quail Games released a game called Tiny Barbarian DX on Steam. And next month it's getting a release on the Nintendo Switch. Oh! I have a copy pre-ordered and I'm looking forward to it. These guys do good games. On the other hand, The Adventures of Captain Becky. That's something that really needs to be seen, to be believed. I don't know what happened to this company, but I hope they keep making games. This also gives you some insight Love into uh, my personal taste. As always, take my recommendations with a grain of salt. As far as I know, this is still exclusive to Xblig, so it'll disappear forever at the end of the month. So, Captain Becky, uh... 
Yep, by Dilf Studios. I don't know if they ever did anything else. D Dilf? Dilf. I... What the... I just... Why was Xplix so horny? It just was, alright? Speaking of... Oh my god. So we are Captain Becky. Oh, that's... We are now in our Magical Girl outfit. And like all Magical Girls, we carry a massive cudgel. Which we use to bludgeon things. This is kind of a neat game. It's very, uh, it's level based, very short, kind of arcadey. Kind of like Bubble Bobble, but expanded out a little bit. Actually, it's nothing like Bubble Bobble. Forget I said anything. But it very much embodies everything I like about X Plague. Just look at the way it looks. This game's presentation. It's so, it's so perfect. Yeah, everybody's like, this is just Athena. It's, it's Athena, but better, alright? Better? Does Athena have coins? That's does it have true. a cudgel? I don't think so. I know one thing Athena doesn't have, and that's my favorite feature of the game. Let me beat this level first. Jason Aris is fucking right. This is my ga favorite game. This is my favorite fake game from the episode of the show where the video game gives you the drugs password. <laughs> yeah. That's what this does. It kind of you gotta feels beat like... level twenty. So this... Captain Becky. This does feel like a fake SVU game. It really it does. does. So there's one bonus feature you get by buying the uh, the full version of this game. That's edit mode. Oh, for reals? Yep, you get to edit Captain Becky. Oh, oh. Uh, you Becky. look at her and you think, oh. What, what needs to be edited. She's perfect as is. Well, let me find the randomize option. Oh no. Because, as it turns out... So this game has like some... okay. This game has a lot of sliders, you see. Uh... And they go all the way. <laughs> this is... I know there was some randomization option that I need to find. There was. Okay, random regular. Let's start off. Uh huh. So you can uh, can make her like it. slightly more like it. dwarfish. Like it. Love it. Like it. Gotta have it. She's great. Ooh, nice shoulders. <laughs> Long face. So these are these are in the regular column. There's it's still kind of humanoid. Okay, here we go. Then there's random extreme. Here we go. <laughs> I love it. Fucking, we're doing it. We're knocking off the Miguel Oh, look at that Roy. waist. That oh is a ridiculous God. ratio. Holy shit. Yeah. The, the golden ratio, they call it. <laughs> what is that? Where'd her skin go? Oh, my God. Hello, I'm the meat pie. Oh, oh my wow. God. Okay. Okay, that looks like Second Life. Yep. I just want to... There's that hourglass figure I wanted. So <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and take our new and improved Captain Becky into the game. And yeah... <laughs> You can play as whatever horrible oh creations God, you Captain make. Oh my Becky, five out of five, best mm -hmm. game. Just that one feature transforms the game. You can be Go, anything. Becky. Oh, Becky, the world has not been kind to you, but <laughs> you're going to take vengeance. K Price says Becky with the bad everything. <laughs> oh, Becky, 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 we love you. She is impossibly stocky, and that waist. Oh my God. Well, this is the last time you can buy this game ever, so... It's now or never. Go buy Ex it. Extreme mode. Extreme mode. I say that's worth a dollar on its own. So that's my recommendation. That's Danny's pick number one, Adventures of Captain Becky. Uh, Maids with Balloons, I do not recommend. That's not that's on my just, list. That, that is what it is. So what's next? So I'll continue by going through this list a little bit. Mm-hmm. Continuing our look at uh, where x developers turned up, who made more games, who ended up dead in a ditch. I, I don't think anyone ended up dead in a ditch. Let's I, play I, Bleed next. Bleed. Another spotlight here briefly. Breath of Death 7, a very short, comedic, uh, kind of satirical RPG that uh, poked fun at many conventions of the genre. The studio later made Cthulhu Saves the World, a much more popular uh, retro-styled RPG. 
And as of earlier this year, they released their magnum opus, Cosmic Star Heroin. Oh, yeah! Out now for PS4 and Steam. That game's great. I highly recommend that as well. And also check out this company's other works here on X-Plague. Zeboid Games, that's their name. Yeah, Zeboid. Yeah, yeah. Another game I'd recommend, this one here. This is Bleed. I love Bleed. The year this came out, uh, it came out in like December of whatever year that was, and I was putting together a list of the top ten x Bligs of the year. I'd already made the list when this came out, and then I said, fuck, the, the list is worthless now. This goes at number one. <laughs> So thanks to the developers of Bleed for ruining that list, but making a really good game. I'm just going to show briefly how this plays, so you can see how great it is. Basically, you're taking out all the video game heroes from the past. I forget why. You just gotta do it. Mm-hmm. So it's a twin-stick platformer. What? You move with one stick, shoot with the other. That's cool. And it's pretty fun, pretty fluid. You also have this dash mechanic. When you're in midair, you can dash in any direction. And you can do it twice. Three times, even. That's a quadruple jump. A quadruple jump! This looks like fun. It really is. And uh, a recent update actually added co-op mode. So oh, we need to try so cool. that at some point. Actually, yes. But it's really fun to make these, uh, these action movie style scenes. Especially when you engage bullet time. That's the game's biggest feature. You That's have this. Cool. You got this depleting meter in the upper left, which shows your bullet time, and you can jump, and dodge, and just kind of weave around things while that's going. It's super satisfying. I really like it. Back then, I tend to judge. Uh, I tended to judge indie games based on their original mechanics and how well they were implemented. This one, it did that perfectly. It had kind of an original mechanic with the bullet time mixed with the. Uh, the side-scrolling twin-stick-ness of it. <laughs> and it just worked out really well. Look at that. Oh, I'm out of time juice. There we go. You can either use it to make a quick getaway, or just to look really cool in these action scenes. But yeah, clever level designs, well-executed mechanics, and... As of last month, this game is now available on PS4. Wow! Whoa! PS4? Yep, they That's finally released cool. it on PS4, some five years after this came out on X-Plague. There's also a sequel now on PC, which I really want to play, but I haven't bought it yet. So congrats to these guys for first of all making a standout X-Plague, and second of all for actually making it out on a modern console. This game, I, don't, I honestly think the mechanics hold up well enough to justify a a real release through a publisher. Though maybe that's not even necessary anymore, because nowadays Sony and Microsoft have relaxed their uh, their publishing standards, which allows pretty much anyone to publish games on PS4 and Xbox One. That led to a lot of crap coming out for both systems, but it mm -hmm. also opened the door for small-time indie developers like these to push out their games. Get them on a platform where people are, people are going to notice. Sorry, I'm not saying it. It just looks really cool. It's, it's a super like... cool game. It plays so well. And all these bosses are also super great. Yeah, kill this hedonistic has-been. Yeah, oh. Oh. He got me. Wasted. I'll get him this time. But, like, check this out. Shit like that. That's fucking cool. Like being that. cornered and then being able to get out of it through dodging and bullet time. It's, it's great. A lot of games have had similar mechanics, but few of them pull it off as well as this one. It just, it's, it feels right. Let me tell you about game feel. <laughs> it's got the real game feel. <laughs> that real arcade feel. You did it! And that's Bleed. Super great, as I mentioned, now on PS4, and check out the sequel, now on Steam. And tell the developer to send me a free key, because I can't afford Bleed 2. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's time for another Danny's pick. What do you think? Okay. Of course, what I want to play is 
Real oh evil. my god, real evil. So another theme that I really enjoy with x Blig is games that have no budget. Like, none whatsoever. It's just one guy and whatever equipment he has on hand. So in this case, it's a Resident Evil-style game with uh, different camera angles, tank controls, the whole thing. Only it takes place in a dude's house. That's good. Oh, this is already my also, favorite Also, this game. is the title screen. <laughs> I'm already in love. This isn't the first game this developer made. Uh, he made several games that take place in his house. Most of them are based on the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's formula, where you gotta watch a camera or something. But this one, he did something a little bit different. This is Resident Evil, just in a dude's house. And you play as a robot from an Xbox Live indie game. <laughs> you were ripped out of the TV and transported into the real world, where it looks like this. I love this! I want to make a game like this! How do we do this in Unity? Danny, we're doing this now! We gotta, we gotta figure no, that streams, out. No, stream's stream's over. I'm make, I want to make this kind of game. Hey, there's the exit. Oh. Oh, that's the sun. We don't like the sun. Ah, uh, sun sucks. Well, let's go upstairs. Oh, no! A skeleton! Got him. Okay, games are good again. <laughs> At least he vacuumed, all right? Does it have tank controls? It does have tank controls. It does it ever. Seven. So you go around this dude's house where he's taped up numbers on the wall and shit. It's and honestly, own. I love that. I love I love that kind of ingenuity, you know? Like, you're just a guy with a computer and, like, a digital camera, and that's it. How are you going to make a game? Just take pictures of your house. Got him. This owns We've entered the kitchen. Shit. Here's actually a nice effect, I think. Uh, there's actually a depth effect there where the uh, the lamp is in front of the robot. It actually takes a little bit of effort to pull off. He didn't bother washing his dishes, so points off for that before he <laughs> took these pictures. I'd have at least put them under the sink or something. Oh, we can get some coffee here. Uh, you can see some Folgers brand coffee over there. Drink Folgers. It's good. <laughs> Wait, that looks like a Maxwell House on the bottom. That blue one. Oh the my god. The robot. See? That's oh, Maxwell House. He's got both. Man, this guy's balling. He gets both <laughs> kinds of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That <laughs> zombie heard you talking shit. I can buy two kinds of coffee and not be rich. Oh. <laughs> so, I love it. I love this. I have I, no problems with this. I want to make a game like this. I honestly wish this was an entire genre, because... I don't know, there's this weird voyeuristic appeal. Like, you got you get this full look at the inside of a dude's house, even though you're not going there. You're not visiting. You're not invited. You're just playing an indie game <laughs> that features his house. I kind of love it. What's that big red ball? I don't fucking know. I think that's an exercise ball. Oh, it is. Oh, plug for his uh, Five Nights at Freddy's alike, One Night Two Crazies. One Night Two Crazies! Hmm. See how you examine stuff, pick up ammo, find clues, and eventually you unlock something. I forget what it is. But basically, this. If there's one game I want people to rip off, it's this one. <laughs> Please make a Resident Evil game that takes place in your house. I will play it. Oh my god. Cool mask. Bloody uh, teddy bear. Oh no! We died. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do the. I, I wanna make this game. <laughs> we're we're gonna start work on this as soon as this stream finishes. Please, real please evil. Keep an eye out for the Retro Pals uh, game imprint. Danny's recommendation number two: Real Evil. <laughs> So, in terms of actual games you might want to play, let's try Jewelry Master Twinkle. So this game is made by Arika, uh, creators of the Street Fighter EX series, and more hey. relevant to this game, they also created the Tetris the Grand Master series. Wait, what the f Okay! Yeah, this is an actual developer. Holy shit, it's like it's Arika. They're still going. Uh, their next game is still untitled, I think. They're making an original fighting game. And this game here... It blends block-dropping puzzlers with dating sims. 
you can date and play a puzzle game. That. Let's do it. It's... And as you might expect, the gameplay mechanics are exactly the same as uh, Tetris the Grandmaster. You can push up to drop blocks instantly. It's got the same feel to it. Except the mechanics are a lot different, because in this one, what you gotta do is combine these jewels and encase them in blocks. And they disappear. <coughs> That's... okay. And you get enough points, you go up a level, and your date progresses. Okay, we're about to seal in this one. Oh, it didn't count for whatever reason. That's okay, you can save it later. You know, you can also make these really ridiculous chains if you don't keep uh, if you don't keep your blocks under control. I've never heard of this before. This is really interesting. Yeah, it's a neat little puzzle concept, and honestly, an original Arika puzzle game is not something that comes along if, uh, mm -mm. You know, very often. And the fact that this is only, I think, three dollars on Xplig. Oh my god, this piece is huge! I recommend it. I recommend you pick this game up before it goes away. There you go. That's how you play. When are we gonna get more chat? Are we going steady now? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bare bones. Uh, there's only three different difficulty levels, which have three different dating scenarios, I guess. But, you know, it's five bucks. <laughs> and it's a new puzzle game from the people who made uh, Tetris the Grandmaster. She got more dialogue. Yeah. I think eventually I did uh, clear this scenario. What you gotta do is get to level 1000. Oh my. It gets pretty tough. If there's one game that this reminds me of, it's actually this Taito arcade game called Cleopatra's Fortune. Yeah, actually I was gonna say chat mentioned that. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same premise where you gotta encase these uh, jewels in order to make them disappear. It's different from just uh, forming lines. You have to actually block them in. Like so. Yeah. I probably don't need to play much more of this, but... I like it. This is an actual good game, and I hope they port it to another platform. Also, I want to show off one more thing. Uh, if you're familiar with Tetris the Grandmaster, you may remember their death mode, in which the uh, blocks drop instantly. Well, that's here too. If you really want to play high-level, super, super deluxe <laughs> Jewelry oh Master God. Deluxe, this is the way to play it. This is a mode for X Keeper and nobody else. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are actually this good at Tetris, but I can't keep up. Yeah, this is. But it's there. the The skill ceiling goes all the way up. The sky's the limit. I'm actually gonna see how long I can survive. Probably not very. Hey, hey, hey! Oh my god, I'm an expert. Holy shit, Danny! The Tetris god has logged on. <laughs> yeah, the thing about death mode is you still have some control over how the blocks land. If you can, if you can manage that and figure out how it works, you can get somewhere. Is this a date? Oh, this isn't going well. If the lady asks if it's a date, it's not going well. <laughs> oh my god, it won't Look get at that smaller! Huge jewel. That's the thing, that's why you need time to plan your moves, so that you can properly encase these things. Otherwise the jewels just get out of control. <laughs> oh my god, this is a disaster. I'm sorry. And just, your date's over. Just, just go home, I won't call you. It's okay. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Jewelry Master Twinkle, out now on Xbox Live Indie Games. There's also a light version that only costs a dollar. Why not buy it? Buy it! Why not? Yeah, do it. Alright, 
I think it's time for another Danny's pick. Oh, gosh. How about Streets of Fury? Oh, nice, nice. So this game was actually re-released on Steam somewhat recently, where it's called Streets of Fury EX. But this is the original version. They originally launched it for five bucks here on Xplig. And it's a brawler. I'll say that much. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up in the style of Streets of Rage. But the way the game looks is kind of unexpected. So Paris has fallen, street ah, gangs have sucks. seized control, and we, as the Parisian gang members, we gotta take back the streets. We've been hired direct from the streets of LA by the terrified French government. Oh my god! Okay. We need the best and brightest gangbangers. We gotta <laughs> import them. The import fuck? us some gang members. That... It is time to fight fire with fire. Yeah, let's just play through the first level, why not? So who are we playing as, Alex? Are we playing Sam I Am? Are we playing as MC Manhattan? Big Chang? Or Joe the Soldier? I like Sam I... I... A Sam I Am? Let's do Sam I Am. Okay. I'd have gone with the guy with the gun, but you know. Yo, oh god, you're right! So it like looks like this. People. This is a live action side-scrolling brawler. So it's like uh, Pit Fighter or whatever. Kinda, yeah. It's uh, Actually, it's technically more like the sequel, Guardians of the Hood. Guardians of the Hood, yeah, that's <laughs> what I was thinking of. Wow. People uh, love Big Chen, by the way. We should have probably gone with them. Oh, well, if I die, I can pick another yeah, character. Yeah, we can pick someone else. So it looks like this. This is what the game actually looks like. They I filmed, love this! Okay. They filmed a bunch of people in front of green screen and they made guardian heroes with it. That's what they did. It's a, a three, plane, three plane brawler where you can shift by... How do you shift? Yeah, like that. Otherwise you're stuck on a straight line. You can push people in between planes. And it's ridiculous. Look at it. <laughs> I like the approach it takes with pallet swaps. Uh, some of the enemies are slightly lighter than others. I'm just so glad someone made a game that looks like this, and it's you know, a brawler. Me too. It just makes sense, you know. They never did that in the '90s. You gotta fix it. Fix Sega's mistake and make Streets of Rage a digitized brawler. You can also dash. I really like this. Oh, that's cool. The underground interlude. Dashing. Oh no, they're. Oh, okay. This game's. <laughs> yeah! Yep! This game's good! So, really, that should tell you everything right there. What you just saw, that'll tell you if you want to buy this game or not. It is on Steam. There is an enhanced Director's Cut version, uh, again called Streets of Fury EX, I think it is. And it's got everything you see here and more. As for me, I just really appreciate how many frames they put into all these animations. Like, they're ridiculously smooth. And yet the gameplay still feels... It still fe feels on point. It feels coherent. Like, normally when you add that many animation frames, it makes things laggy or unresponsive. But not in this case. I'm not doing this... <laughs> I'm not doing well here. You should also notice this is four-player. You can have up to four digitized characters fighting on the screen. There, finally. Did it. Now I'm gonna scoot on to the next scene. <laughs> Look at me scoot around. I'm scooting. I'm scooting. <clears throat> Got it. Long is near. Oh yeah, we also have a fury move. That's what that looks like. That's good. Oh shit! <laughs> this game rules! Yep. Oh, it's Big Wong. But he's green! He's got Sawada's attack from Street Fighter the Movie. <laughs> he does! <laughs> oh, 
So yeah, the Guardians of the Hood remake you never knew you wanted. Wow, this guy, he really is Big Wong. He's huge. Yeah, he kind of is! Did I just say Bazinga? Yeah, you That's just cool. screamed Bazinga at this guy. Ah, uh, Bazinga! Let's see if I can beat this guy before I kind of look like he's going to tip his fedora to you. <laughs> yeah. He's a classy God. guy, this this big long. It's like, you know, there's that young Sheldon. Yeah. This is like this is like that that <laughs> fucking that that Sheldon's wild teen years, you know? Oh yeah. Just fighting people, screaming bazinga, getting his ass kicked. Having green skin. Mm-hmm. And it's actually pretty tough. There's a lot of different combos and uh, just different moves that you can use in certain situations. And look how good it you looks. Look at these HD sprites! I mean, you can see the flaws when you zoom in like that, but... <laughs> it's so interesting! Yeah, some dude just got together with his friends and said, Hey, you wanna be in a brawler? And they were like, fuck yeah. Can you make it look ridiculous? Can I have a move where I go way up in the air and then fall down and nothing happens? Take that, Big Wong! So that's another pro recommendation from me, Streets of Fury. <laughs> Do check it out, either on Xplig or on Steam. Scoot on over to Steam and pick <laughs> yourself up a copy. Oh boy. We sure bazingaed here, baby. Yeah, we, we bazingaed the shit out of this game. I think we have just enough time for a new world record speedrun! Oh shit, we're doing it! This is so, Get this Rich or Die Gaming Speedrun Edition. Okay, so this game is a little infamous. Okay, give me a sec, I gotta get uh Sure. This this was among the first games to discover the fact that if you put boobs on the cover of your game, you'll get a shit ton of people to download it. That's wild! That's just how it works. Uh, for some reason this took a while for people to discover here on Xblig, but once they did, a whole lot of boobs all over the place. But this game here, this game was basically sold entirely on the promise of this front cover. What it is, in practice, is it's about 20 minutes long. It's developed by an Australian high school student, and it's full of Australian high school student in-jokes. Some of it's funny, a lot of it makes no sense, uh, but all of it's unforgettable. And what I'm going to do here is try and do a world record speedrun. Oh I'm aiming God. for sub five minutes. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's humanly possible. Can only the machines achieve that time? Let's find out. This is Get Rich or Die Gaming. I recommend checking this out for the jokes just because they're so bizarre and out there, but I am going to be skipping past all the dialogue so as not to spoil the surprise. But if this looks interesting, you can buy it either on Xblig or on Steam because this is on Steam now. <laughs> I don't know why. What? For reals? Yeah, it's actually on Steam. This guy here who made this, Angus Chang, he actually released five of these games on Xplig. The others are called Rock Bottom, Let's Get Fiscal, which is a beat-em-up that takes place in this game's universe, and the Fantastic Fivesome, in addition to the side story Tokyo Hosto. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But this is where the story begins. Get rich or die gaming. I'm gonna let the uh, intro play out, and then we'll start the timer after the intro. I'll okay, tell you to go. Tell me when. Warning: heavy swearing ahead. You're gonna want to turn this up. He is a major pro and already has three kills, but then something terrible happens. His Dota hating dad comes home from work. Oh no, Dota hating dad! Son, I am disappointed. I told you to call me a butterfly. Mansion of Hidden Souls. But. Dad, I'm still downloading the compiler. Downloading the compiler, my dick. That's the last straw. Come with me. So released into the wild, Wilson must now fend for himself. Start. What challenges await him? Only time will tell. Okay, here's our nemesis, Adical Face, spelled a dickle face. We're learning from this guy how to be a baller. Uh, in order to do that, you gotta sell drugs. That's part of the story. We want to be his protege. But what he does is he gives us money so that we can go into the bakery, talk to this guy, get his fast food order, 
You look damp. I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> so we have this order. We got the $10. We can go past the Dota Cafe, go into the Baller Industries food outlet. That's the name of this developer, by the way, Baller Industries. Oh, Baller Industries, yeah. So we're going to buy this guy's order, which has something like six drinks in it. Don't worry about it. We're going to go back. And what we learned from Attical is to buy low, sell high. That's the, that's the principles of being a baller. We're going to charge him $50. He's going to call us a motherfucking piece of shit, and he's not going to give us anything. So we go out and go over here, and this guy robs us. He takes all our money. Here's Attical again. Uh, people are calling us Attical 2.0. This guy, he's a drug dealer. We want to buy drugs, but we can't do that because our clothes are too fancy. So what we got to do is pick up this dollar here, uh, buy the hobo's clothes off the hobo. Even though he says that he just shitting them, that's fine. we got to go to the drug dealer, buy some drugs. He calls it Spism. He gives it to us in a cup. And what we got to do here is to go to room 29, which has this businessman who's looking for some uh, weed drugs. We sell him the weed drugs. We go back outside, go back inside. The weed drugs have taken their effect, but he still wants more weed. We, uh, we chit-chat with him, as all good drug dealers do. Give him some more weed. Come back in. This guy's now changed his life. He's all about Dota and weed now, but he still has money, so we're going to take some more of that. And at this point, we've given him so much weed, he has turned into a dog. That progresses the quest, so we can go on. <laughs> are you are you okay. keeping up with things? Uh, this is uh, this is uh, some guy that the uh, the Boy. developer hates in Australian developer school. It's fine. Here we learn our new techniques. We got to sell weed to Pikachu here at the Dota Cafe. So what we do is we stare at him until he agrees to buy our drugs. This makes him sell the Dota Cafe. Now we're going to go into the end game. Are you ready for this? Okay. So this guy is, uh, he's all like, I don't know. <laughs> Sales are down. He wants to make a new pie. And he's all like, hey, can you make a new pie? And we're like, I don't know. So we take the pie outside, go next door to the Baller Industries food outlet. Talk to this guy, uh, give him the pie, and we invent a new pie using what we have on hand, of course, which is weed. So we invent a weed pie, a great invention. I'm gonna go take it back to the baker. Hope you're keeping up with this. Hang on. It's a very complicated formula I'm doing here. Hand the weed pie to the baker. Weed, aka Spism. We've also made a lot of money now. We've hit our goal of 15,000, so we're going to head outside, go down the street, meet the officer. She tells us she's not a cop, so it's cool. We can talk to her, go to the, uh, go to the club, talk about crime, committing crimes. Has anyone seen anyone committing crime? What about Dota? Hey, do you want some weed? Time. Hello. Fuck, 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 I ruined it! Now it's time. Want some organic psychoactive drug? <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. And we're under arrest. And we'll be Good job, everyone. We did it. You have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be provided for you at government expense. So what was it? Sub four. Hey, how about that? Uh, did everyone get the story? I thought it was pretty good, pretty funny. Uh, normally it's like 20 minutes long, but if you skip the dialogue, I guess it's sub four minutes. That's Get Rich or Die Gaming, the first of a quintology here on Xblig. You can buy the whole series for five bucks, and I think that's a good deal. What do you think, Alex? He's a dog now, huh? Yeah, you give the businessman so much weed, he turns into a weed dog. He doesn't have any money after that point, so you have to move on. Yeah, dogs don't, don't work. That just makes sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was that. Was that. You know, we, do we have any time for any more games? Do you want to play something? Can we please show off one of Sick Industries games? Well, I did buy one just for this occasion, so okay. I guess we should. Thank you. I, I, I would feel remiss. If we didn't show them off, I... So Sick Creations, a.k.a. Ingenious Fun, Ingenious. creators of one of our favorite x -Bligs. It's a game called Ah Halloween Pie, but what we're, what we're going to play is a game called Who Gets the Girl? 
I guess we're going to end the stream here on a game that I bought last night for $3. I paid $3 for this game. Three American dollars. And Alex is going to play it. Oh, god damn it. Really? You're going to get the girl. Okay. Now, if you've seen uh, okay, Ingenious okay. Fun, a.k.a. Sick Creations games, you'll know that they're full of very attractive women. They they make your heart palpitate. They make you go, humana, humana, that sort of thing. Sarah, it's it's uh, makes your heart go doki doki and all that shit. Yep, my heart flutters. It goes doki doki, all that good shit. <laughs> all right, so so it's up to you to get us this girl. Close out tonight's stream by getting us the girl. Who's gonna get the girl? You're gonna get the girl. Woo! Ingenious fun. Yes, your Patreon dollars went directly towards me buying $20 worth of x the other day. Thank you. That's literally what happened. Presents. So this does have an... is it anaglyph? Uh, it's anaglyph, yeah. You can uh, just use any old 3D glasses with this. Start is that up. really how you spell ingenious? I don't think it is. So it's spelled like brain genius. Yeah. Good! Yeah. So maybe the share zone made these games. Could be. I hope so. They definitely made a Halloween pie if you've ever played that one. We're oh yeah, that game was full of skeletons. Full of skeletons and boobs. Now, if you've never seen this uh, developer's games, uh, the way they represent humans, mm -hmm. it's a little off kilter. Maybe a little uh, unexpected, a little terrifying, okay, maybe. Okay, so I gotta go to the library to do some uh, research, and also, I wanna just find love. You're gonna find love. Sure, you live in a garage with multiple blow-up dolls, it looks like, but... <laughs> okay, do I wanna do some sit-ups? Go to the bathroom, go to bed, ooh, go to bed always sounds good. Arrange some breakfast, throw on some clothes, and go to the cafe. You know, I... Oh, I can't go without brushing my teeth and showering. All those girls are gonna think I smell like shit. Yeah, um, probably. Let's 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 at least freshen up a little bit. Hey. Nicely executed. Thank you. We, we are absolutely. I hate that because it's color coded and my oh, controller yeah, it's hard, is not. It's hard to see. Yeah. Hey. Okay, so we're gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that Alex is using the uh, special edition Chrome version of the Xbox 360 controller. Okay. Now let's go to the cafe. Yeah. Because there's certainly got to be... Let's find some love. Let's find love. All I want is some love. Okay, I'm so... human, and I want to be loved just like everybody else does. Now go to the cafe and get you a lady. Okay. Jesus. I don't understand straight people. <laughs> Okay. This is how it works, all right. I guess this is what it's like to be straight. I mean, I mean, I, I gotta ask. I mean, an unflinching I'm... simulation of straightness. That's what this is. <laughs> this is so we're going to the cafe. The game. Here to pick up a lady by being a creep, because that's how it works. I guess so. Uh, okay. It's a nice day. The birds are singing. Oh wow! Now there's a reason to be happy. You think to yourself. That car back there. It was oh my god! Wow. She exudes something. <laughs> the, 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 the. I'd like to be her dog. Oh my god. Okay. Three dollars. I paid three dollars for this. Mmm, slurp. Okay, cool. Welcome Jesus to Cafe god. Vomit, where don't look at the walls. <laughs> Something special's about to happen. Oh, God. I see a flurry of oh no's in the chat. Yeah, basically, this is one big oh no. Well, hiya, honey. Uh huh. Uh, what do I want? Some cereal bars, uh, bacon, eggs, sausage, beans, hash browns, and mushrooms. Curry a couple of slices on, of toast. Curry sauce on, on on fries actually sounds fucking delicious. It does. Let's get that. Uh huh. Well, there's a lady over there sitting in the in the corner with her back to everyone. So <laughs> obviously she wants someone to bother her. All she needs is headphones in, and you know she's <laughs> perfect to bother. Excuse me, you can't listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> uh huh. I'm saying okay. I'm here to waste your time. I summon my boldest demeanor and stride forth. Don't okay, do be this. bold. Be, be bold. bold. 
Meanwhile. Meanwhile, the the dog uh, side story is happening. And we're back again. Hi. Hey. Okay. Hi. I like this McDonald's seating. It's fucking giant ass hot dog. Oh, that is a giant hot dog. May I may I join you? Uh, yeah, that's. How oh, should have mentioned it before, but I haven't screamed this game. Uh, pretty sure there's no nudity. They don't allow that on X Plague. Mm-hmm. If we see a nipple or something, we'll quit. I'll throw up Rolo. <laughs> Mm, face to face. A pretty girl. Life is good. Okay. Look Are you eight feet, feet tall? Yeah, maybe. Everyone seems to be. There it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I want to point out that the 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 modeling on that mustard is really bad. That's real bad. Yeah. I know I keep making Second Life references, but that I have I that have that hot dog is bigger than her head, is, though. That hot dog looks really bad. That, you would get better hot dogs in SL. I have better hot dogs in SL. <laughs> I'll make you better hot dogs in SL. <laughs> Just come to my land in SL and I'll give you all the great hot dogs. Uh, Makes you drool, but when you put some in your mouth, uh, mm, heavenly. She's talking about boners, folks. Or at least that's what the developer wants her to do. Uh huh. Oh, my milkshakes are so got creamy. Two, two milkshakes. Why do I have two milkshakes? Because breasts. I'm depressed. <laughs> Uh, what is, what is your name? Stop, stop staring at her titties, dick. Shakina, Shanika. okay. Shanika. I... Do you like my name? I... It's a good name! She's suddenly accusatory. Oh. Uh, I... It, Choose it, wisely. Yes, I like it. She blushes <laughs> slightly, okay. But back to business. <laughs> Okay, more about myself, uh, herself, okay. I'm Why 21 you know? years old. <laughs> good. This conversation's going That places. sounds like a good age to be. Ha, ha. How, How old, are, old you? are you? I'm, I'm, well, technically I'm X, but I'll just say Y. Y. Our ages are not that dissimilar, human. Oh my god. Let's start by me telling you more about me. I would like that. I would that. like that very much. <laughs> Jesus. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm a student. <laughs> what are you studying? I'm right, a student. Okay. <laughs> My favorite color. Who's that guy? <laughs> what the fuck is that guy? What's happening? Oh, he's slipping on... Oh, he's slipping in the dog shit. Okay. My favorite color also. I'll just say it's a good color. A good color. Oh, he stepped in poop. Wearing my best sandals and everything. Meanwhile, we get the cold stare from Janika. I'm 21 years old. My birthday is in December. I'm a student. The 23rd. 23rd. <laughs> Excuse me for a second while I get my mouth full of hot dog. Giggle? Oh, God. Jesus, I don't want to see this. I, I don't think anybody wants to see this is terrible. That's Oh ah! my god, stop! Ah! That's horrifying! This is so good it shouldn't be allowed. Nightmare that we live in. <laughs> oh and back to normal now. Just He's just pretend now. like that nightmare. I enjoy keeping fit. I enjoy keep fit. <laughs> I can't take this. <laughs> And playing computer games, okay. This is too good. Apart from at breakfast time, I only ever drink fruit juice. Okay. Oh yeah, hey. she didn't even bite into it. What the hell? My favorite food is fish. Uh huh. Okay, so let me tell you this. I, the first time I played through the demo of this, I picked B. That ends the story right there. Okay. I'll give you that one hint. Fuck it. Brutally honest, baby. 2017, new year, new me. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. She hates did it you when fuck I'm it honest. Up? I did. That's fine. Boy, is she moody. Maybe well. I shouldn't have told her about all the people I've killed. <laughs> 
Also, check out her nose. Check out her nostrils. It looks like her her nostrils are li- are, are emanating light. Yeah, they got like little lamps light sources. in them. Yeah, like ding. Lamp nostrils. It's a new millennial craze. What did you do wrong? I shouldn't have told her like how much I like to kill people or fucking. Game whatever. over I don't until know. next time. Yeah, you were brutally honest about <laughs> about, about the string of murders you committed I, before I mean, coming to the, the cafe. All right, there's only one right answer in that part, and we collectively, between the two of us, we managed to pick all the wrong answers. So good job. That's who gets the girl. Apparently none of us. For the next 48 hours, it can be yours for two ninety nine dollars on Xblig, if that's what you want to play. If you want to do that. I want to end on one thing specifically. This will okay. take like one minute. That's fine. What? Let's end on the good shit. Brought to you by Slim Jim. Brought to you by Slim Jim, yes. Are we doing it? Yeah, we gotta do it. Alright, we gotta do our Halloween pie for all you true Doom Halloween pie heads here. So I wasn't I wasn't satisfied with how Alex conducted himself in front of Chanika. Uh, we're both very embarrassed. We're gonna retreat back to our, our society. But in the meantime, here's a Halloween pie. Oh my god. Oh, turn this down. I... Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. The game ends with a very loud, uh... Or rather, it begins with a very loud car crash Gee, noise. pussy. Cool. Yep. Very subtle. There's a skeleton. Oh, no. Oh, no. My bear. There. Okay, now you can turn it up. So let's end this on a good note. We've seen, we've seen the good, the bad, the artful, the artless, uh, the tasteful, and the tasteless. And I think it's time to end it on the one, the one best thing that Xbox Live Indie Games gave to us. It's in this game. This, that this, jump! This unassuming ah. Ghosts and Goblins tribute, known as Ah Halloween Pie. It's seasonal. I'm just saying, you can get this game before the end of the month, have it ready for your pals at your Halloween party, get everyone there in costume, get them all liquored up, turn on the Xbox and say, hey, check this out. There she is! Booty Witch. Booty Witch. And there she goes. Doing her job. Being a witch. So she's looking for pumpkins. Uh-huh. She wants to make a Halloween pie. We don't have the pumpkins. Damn, she's gonna be pissed. I tried mastering this game again last night for yeah, uh, she goes back uh, for a one credit clear. Not happening. This game is really hard. But, and that's a big but. Let's end this Danny. on a positive note. Xbox Live Indie Games gave us some really interesting stuff, some really laughable stuff, and some just generally uncategorizable stuff. Things that you wouldn't see anywhere else. Things like the Booty Witch. She's right here. She's only on Xbox Live Indie Games. And a few days from now, she's going to disappear forever. Thank you for your service, Booty Witch. Thank you, Booty Witch. Thank you for all you've done.